Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and I have a guest here, and that is Bethy, Hello. the Electric Israeli, and she is going to be part of this uh, video. Thank you for joining our channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help us change the world one electric car at a time. And thank you for all of my uh, supporters and my patrons. Your, your support is much appreciated. And those who uh, order their Tesla using our link, we got another uh, Tesla future owner today, James. Thank you very much. I am about to earn uh, 19,000 electric free supercharging electric miles. Uh, that's all. That's probably going to last us for a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Uh, so today, we Beth and I were talking, and we want to, you know, reflect a little bit. We've been owning this Tesla for about eight months, and we want to, uh, you know, I obviously follow Tesla uh, every day, and for many many years. And the question is, why Tesla is uh, selling the most electric cars uh, in the United States? Uh, they are now dominating Europe. Uh, with the Tesla Model 3 and later on we'll see how they will do in China once they finish the uh, the Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai and so the question is why is that and so we came up with a few reasons uh, and then we're going to share I will say a few and Beth will say a few and then we'll take it from there so the, the we'll call it five to one let's say let's do that so we figured uh, number five will be the brand and Think about when you, I don't know, when you think about a great computer, you'll think about Apple computer. Uh, when you think about a, a pickup truck, you're probably gonna think about a, a Ford F-150. It's a brand. Uh, Tesla has developed an amazing brand uh, of th that you will associate with an electric car. And that, that, that would be like the first thing, you say, oh, electric car, Tesla. That's what you 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 think about. When 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 I listen to the uh, financial news almost every single day, and they talk about uh, uh, cars, very little they talk about Ford or GM or whatever. You know, they just make cars. You know, they've been making cars for 120 years. When we talk about the electric cars, boom, Tesla. They're not going to talk about Nissan Leaf. They're not talking about uh, Chevy Bolt. No, Tesla is the brand. It's just made to be uh, the, uh, you know, what you associate electric cars with. Number four will be uh, mission. And that will be Pet's job. Tesla's mission, honey. Oh, the mission to um, bring electric cars to the world. Yes. And therefore. That's, and therefore, that's why people want it. So yeah. they look out and seek for, you know, electric cars. And obviously, you're going to go to Tesla first. That's all they do. All which they. is all they do. And they've really, you know, obviously innovated, you know, the car industry through it. Because nobody else is really any innovations in the, you know, in the last many years. And so, you know, and like if uh, people who, you know, subscribe to your channel, like, you know, would be good for the environment. Not only is it a fun car to drive, but yes. I would uh, believe in the mission. Now, so we, when we, for example, when we go to the auto show and we see, a, we only look for the uh, electric cars, mm. and you see the difference between a car that is built from the ground up to be electric, like this car, mm -hmm. and everybody else, and everybody else looks like the a gasoline car that just got a battery shoved into Which it. I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. It's you know because then it's more familiarity that people. Um, you know, are more familiar with it. But I think it goes back to our, our another video that we made about there's still so many people who don't understand electric cars and don't, you know, really understand what they do and how they're made. So maybe, you know, they're not going to go for a Tesla. Maybe they would go for a Ford because they're familiar with that. that we are, but the thing is that the mission, the mission of Tesla is so focused on only one thing and it looks like the others just uh, for, for their ride. They're just there for the ride. Not because it's they have any interest or mission. When 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 I went to buy the uh, the Nissan Leaf or uh, even the first uh, Ford that we have, immediately the dealer wanted me to <laughs> to buy a gasoline. Buy a gas car. <laughs> yeah, I went to I asked him about the Ford the Ford the, whatever it is that they have the Ford the Fusion the, the Fusion the Ford Fusion. It's like once you get an F one fifty. 
because they're practically trying to give those away. Yeah, they're trying to give this away. So the point is, the point is with the mission is the point. The point that we make is this is all, what Tesla only. That's the only thing they do, and everybody else they like there. I mean, eventually they'll be forced to do it, but they have no intention to make it, and definitely no intention to sell it because of the dealership model. That that I saw on several occasions because we bought uh, several uh, different electric cars. So that would be number four. Let's go to number three. Number three, and uh, now because we owned the uh, Ford Fusion, which had basically no- uh, 20 miles. <laughs> 20 miles and no, um, no, uh, no uh, cargo, remember it was that little step <laughs> in the back and the Nissan Leaf and, and, and the Chevy Volt and all that. Uh, there is no comparison to the, to the uh, look, the beauty and the performance of uh, Tesla. I mean, when Elon Musk and Tesla made electric cars, they did not make them to look ugly. They made them to look beautiful, to be extraordinarily uh, performance cars uh, that will be always better than everything else it's the point is is not to be the same it's to be better and so uh, without any compromises so the range the acceleration the storage the uh you know uh, how it drives how how it moves how it navigates how it performs how it updates how it becomes better and better over the months and years that you are owning the car is what makes it extraordinarily unique not only to uh gasoline cars that's for sure but also to other electric cars so the the beauty and the performance of the car is uh, unbelievable would you agree with that my dear i certainly would uh, but you have to be a little bit more specific yes <laughs> no like it's you know you, you get to you know it's practical and it's a beautiful luxury car like that has all those things that you just said but it's also practical like we said it's our everyday car you know we just use yeah. it all the time right all right, so that was number three, and now we're gonna move to number two. All right, number two, uh, even though a bit uh, did not have too much to do with it because, you know, I just, we did everything online and all that, but the buying experience uh, was just uh, so completely and totally different. Uh, I mean, wh what do you think about when you wanna buy a car? Oh, I'm gonna go to the dealer, and they're probably gonna trick me, and they're gonna sell me something I don't want. Uh, even, forget electric cars, we're just talking about regular cars. You always feel that you got stiffed, conned, tricked, and 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 no matter what you do, you you probably gonna you probably gonna feel leaving the dealership. You feel that somebody actually did the number on you. There is no such thing. I mean, the entire buy experience, the everything that we did for this car was just online, click click, done done. Uh, there is a service center. I can make an appointment using my app. Uh, we did uh, tires a couple times, uh, winter, summer, and a couple little things, No, nothing too, uh, too fancy. And that's it. I mean, the uh, dealership model is built so you go there back, and back again and again and again for the service where the money is. And here, even when we had the Nissan Leaf, you know how much I spent on Nissan Leaf service? 300 bucks in almost four years. I would say I would spend it in one time in a, in a regular dealership. It's just amazing. I mean, this car can go 100, 200, 300,000 miles with very little to do. Uh, and it's, it, it's really incredible. I think that the direct sale and the no dealership experience is makes it extraordinarily unique. And now we're gonna go to number one and Betty's gonna talk about number one, the supercharging experience. I just gave it away. <laughs> like, oh, okay, <laughs> pretend I didn't say it. The number one, da -da -da, the superchargers. So I've always said this all along that for, you know, for people, just regular people like me who aren't necessarily car enthusiasts, to buy an electric car, it has to be convenient. It has to, you know, I can't have, I'd be worrying about where I'm gonna charge it and stuff. And so, um, so to me, the superchargers are the number one and really why you would buy a Tesla even above, right now anyway, above any other electric car is because you do have the superchargers. Like Moshe always says, 99% of the time you're charging at home, but for those times that you go, you know, you're going on a trip or going somewhere, um, you need to know that there are going to be chargers. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be able to drive the car, um, which I think you still kind of have with other 
electric car. So until they get their act together and they get some serious supercharging infrastructure out there, you know, Tesla's the way to go if you plan on ever leaving the vicinity of your, um, you know, your state. For, exa for example. For example, when we're going away. When? Uh, Wednesday on our big trip. To? Driving trip to Maine, Vermont, and Quebec. Um, you know, it's, and it's also, you know, it's fun. We're, so we're seeking out the, you know, the chargers and I don't think we have to make any compromises, do we? No. On our routes to no. get to chargers? No. 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 Uh, even in Canada, obviously it's not a problem. So, um, so we'll let you know how it goes. But, you know, if we had a fully electric car that was not a Tesla, you know, we'd have to think twice about it, wouldn't we? Yeah, it would be much, it would be very be challenging. Much more, much more challenging. Very challenging, right? yes. So it's that to me, you know, the, you know, the, having that infrastructure, and I, I mean, I really hope that the other cars, the other, I'm sorry, that the other, yeah, the other electric Manufacturer. cars will get together, get their act together and get, you know, we can have chargers all over the country for all electric cars at some point so that we can really make the switch and it won't just be Tesla. And yeah, not only chargers, fast chargers. Yes, fast chargers. Fasters. Okay, so I, I, you know, obviously, uh, Electrify America and others uh, are doing, uh, you know, uh, Blink and others, you know, they're making an effort. It's not uniform. It's not the car companies per se. It's uh, private companies uh, doing that. It's still early. It's yeah, like it, it's still doing early. their own thing. Everybody doing their own thing, and the rates are fluctuating. You know, I, I can tell you horror story, but and it's not so reliable. It's not so reliable. You, you. A Tesla car, it's so advanced, you put an address, it tells you where to go. Now, is it 100%? No, but it's 95%. And you very rarely will have compromises. I mean, we went to Florida with this. No, you didn't, you didn't even... I mean, when you had to wait a couple times. Yeah, but, for, but, uh, but you didn't have to, like, you weren't worried that you're going to get stuck. No. That's the point. You were not worried that you're going to get stuck. You knew. And I, and we, if you look at the Tesla map, you see it's not only the red dots of how many Tesla superchargers are there. It's how many great dots, how many of them are coming. I mean, the last six months, two superchargers are built 10 minutes away from where we live. You know, one at the mall and one at the other uh, gas station by Wawa. I mean, just 10, 15 minutes from where we live, there are two superchargers. And of course, I used it, I used it once just for, for the to see if it works it did work <laughs> and so um uh just you know not because we need it we, we charge at home all the time so that is a huge huge advantage so why do uh, uh why does tesla sell the most electric car because that's why that's why that's what they're committed they're dedicated they're beautiful they're fast you can go everywhere with them uh, the buying experience the service experience is second to none and everybody else is like doing you a favor that they do something uh, just because they have to. But you know what? And I always, I said it in so many of my videos. I think I have a feeling that they, when they wake up, it's going to be too late. It's like a Kodak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kodak. It's like a blockbuster. <laughs> you know, they didn't realize what Netflix is doing to them. It's like Nokia flip phones. Okay. If you don't wake up early, you're going to be, uh, stay asleep. Thank you everybody for watching. Help us change the world one electric car at a time and subscribe to our channel. Yeah. Bye, guys. Peace.